Yo, what's up? Oh, yeah. Today I'm talking about should pets sleep in your bed when you're in a relationship? All right. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kane. I'm the Silver Bachelor. This channel is 100% dedicated to dating advice for older guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Smash that hit subscribe button and hit the notification button because I'm dropping a video every day. All right. Should pets sleep in your bed when you're in a relationship? All right, I decided to, to do this video because I was watching a, uh, a YouTuber that sits with dogs in shelters. And it's, it's sad, but it's amazing how he can sit in a shelter with these dogs and the dogs are petrified. They're scared, they've been abandoned, and he eventually wins the dog over and the dog eventually um, forms a bond with this guy and he helps get this, these dogs adopted. So a little bit of backstory on myself and why am I doing this video on pets, okay? So I was married before for 20 years, divorced now, decided to leave that situation. I've been single for two years now and this is part of the reason why I decided to do this, this channel is to help other older guys deal with and, and get some tips on if you're in uh, a bad relationship, marriage, whatever, or you are now find yourself single, or you, you've been single for a while and you need to level up your dating game. Okay, so during my marriage, my ex-wife and I had four dogs. That's right, we had four. Now, thankfully, they were all smaller dogs. Uh, three of the four were rescues, and two of the four were rescues from Barranquilla, Colombia. So I've been to Colombia a few times, Medellin, and I've been to Cartagena. Barranquilla is not far from Cartagena. I actually did a video on one of my, my I have two YouTube channels. My other YouTube channel, I posted a video where I went to this uh, farm. So the veterinarian that takes care of these dogs, she has over a hundred of these rescue dogs on a farm. And I did a video on that. Just drop a comment if you'd like me to share that video so you can see it. So when we first, when we got our first dog, we felt so sorry for the dog with their cute eyes and they're looking at you, their first time in your house and they want to snuggle and everything else. Well, biggest mistake that we made, and I will, instead of you waiting till the end of the video, should pets sleep in your bed? The answer is no. And I will go into reasons why. So, that's what we did. We, the first night with our first dog, we had the dog sleep in her bed and it was, it was so cute. And the dog was so warm and just would like be, be so, it was so happy that the dog was sleeping with us, right? Fast forward, dog number two, dog number three, dog number four didn't actually like sleeping in a bed. So eventually we have three dogs sleeping in the bed some of them under the covers, some of them above the covers. Why is it not a good idea for pets to be sleeping in your bed? Well, in no particular order. Number one, animals are dirty. Animals shed their fur, okay? You're bringing that dirt and filth and shedding of hair or fur in your bed. It's disgusting, okay? It started to dawn on me throughout the, the years when I would lift up the sheets and I would see the, the fur on the sheets. And you let these, let's talk about dogs specifically. Not all cats go outside, but let's just talk about dogs. You let the dog outside, right? The dog's digging in stuff. The dog's stepping on stuff. Who knows where the hell those paws have been. The, the dog comes into your house and now those paws are on your bed. It's disgusting. When you really think about it, it's disgusting. Most importantly, it affects your bonding and your intimacy with your partner, okay? This is what's happened to me. And, and again, this is one of the reasons why I decided to create this channel to share these stories with you so that you don't make the same mistakes. So the dogs are in the bed and next thing I know, my then ex-wife was like, oh, because I would try to, you know, snuggle up to, to her, want to be intimate. And the dog, I'm like, 
have to move the dog away. And then she'd say, oh, no, don't disturb the dog. The dog is sleeping, that kind of stuff. The other thing you have to deal with is you're trying to be intimate. And what's the dog doing? The dog is staring, right? The dog's staring at you and it becomes very awkward. You got these cute eyes staring at you, watching you have sex. <laughs> it's, it's not great. So now, hell no, no dogs, pets, no pets on the bed ever in the bedroom. Okay. Maybe you have another bed somewhere else, but not in the bed, inside the bed, on top of bed. No, I would get a little crate for the dog or a little blanket, a little uh, dog pad, a little dog bed on the side of the bed or something like that. But the pets should never be on the bed or in the bed for those reasons. They're dirty and they will get in the way of intimacy. And uh, trust me, man, and you know, drop a comment and let me know, is this happening in your marriage or in your long-term relationship? You're living with someone and there's pets in the bed, on the bed, whatever. Is that affecting your intimacy? I guarantee it is. And I encourage you not to do that. It's going to be very hard to now tell your partner, Hey, I think it's a good idea. I think it's a better idea that the pet is not on the bed. She will hate you for that. So it could be too late, but if you're dating someone and they have a pet, you need to curb that, or you just don't stay over at their house, but at your place, mm, mm, mm. no pets on the bed, in the bed. That's, that's my stand on it. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think. And we'll see you next time.